So I was in the store the other day and I saw this <clears throat> new firearm in their case I hadn't seen or heard of before. It's the GSG Firefly. It was $249, which I looked up and seemed maybe a little bit high, but pretty reasonable. And I've been looking for a 22 caliber pistol that would be cheaper to plink with, but still kind of fun to shoot. And I come to find out this is roughly modeled off of the Sig Sauer Mosquito. So I ended up picking it up. I'm here at the gun range today and I've had about 500 rounds, a little over probably, through this pistol so far. And what I've been using are the tried and true Remington Thunderbolt. And so far I've had two malfunctions the entire time I've had. They were both uh, Failure to eject, not necessarily a stovepipe, but it just didn't quite uh, bring the slide to the rear so the extractor could release the, the casing. So I noticed something interesting today. My family member gave me a box of these Winchester uh, 36 grain hollow points, copper plated hollow points. These Remington Thunderbolts are 40 grain uh, lead round nose, I believe lead round nose. Um, and like I said, they've been super reliable. So I just wanted to show you what I noticed so far. The GSG Firefly has been pretty reliable uh, for an inexpensive semi-automatic 22 pistol that has some decent features to it. Um, with the exception of trying to fire this 36 grain hollow point. So I'm going to run 10 rounds of the Remington uh, round nose through. And then I'll reload and run 10 rounds, try to run 10 rounds of this 36 grain hollow point. Hopefully this video will explain, you know, if you have a GSG Firefly and you're struggling to get it to run reliably, uh, it's possible that you just need to switch ammo. So put on some Eye Pro and some Ear Pro here. And I'm just going to shoot at a relatively quick speed because I'm confident that it'll run these rounds pretty well. Alright, it's all 10 rounds, weapons clear. I'm going to load 10 rounds of these uh, top plated hollow points here. I was hoping these would work. I don't really intend to use this GSG Firefly as any sort of self-defense weapon, but um, you know, my wife's been out here shooting it. She really likes it, you know, compared to some of my other handguns and long guns because it doesn't kick very much and it fits her hand well. I will say the GSG Firefly is quite a bit smaller than a full-size Sig, uh, Sig Sauer platform, uh, which I like because it's 22. And I've got kind of medium-sized hands, so it really fits my hand nice. But So there we go. i got 10, 10 of those uh, copper-plated hollow points loaded up, and I'm going to try to run those through. Right there on the first shot, you can see, if you can see that, it's a failure to extract, uh, I would call it. Uh, just doesn't seem like these rounds have enough uh, weight behind them, enough pressure to push the slide all the way back. The, the first, this is my second magazine of these I've run. The first one was, the first five shots did that, and the, the last five shots seemed to work a little better. So we'll get through this magazine here. That one, it, it, it did work. So I thought it worked. Uh, it seems like maybe it racked the slide back. It might be a hang fire, but I doubt it. Uh, it seems like it maybe got the slide to go to all the way back. Yep, so there's nothing in there. Didn't pick up another round. Didn't move that slide back far enough. There we go. And we're empty. So once again, kind of did a similar thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'll do 10 more here just to see if I can figure out. Uh, the first time, the first magazine I, I used, I noticed that it wasn't even pushing the hammer, uh, the slide back far enough to cock the hammer. So that's pretty obvious to me that this gun prefers a 40 grain bullet. 
Um, I can pick up some 40 grain hollow points, I'm sure, or some heavier ones. These are 36, 36 grain copper plated, and it seems like they feed fine. They just uh, can't get that weapon to pick up a new round and put it in battery. So here's 10 more. Yep, same thing. So, move that box out of the way. Something in there. I'm assuming it's the casing. Correct. Rock a new one. So, as I was saying, the hammer's not back. There's a the casing. And we got through the rest of them there. So I probably won't use these hollow points for plinking. They're kind of frustrating. But as far as uh, the only other thing I'd say with this this firearm, which just to show you, because everybody on YouTube likes to comment when you don't show. So before I walk down the range here, I'll show you. It's clear. The magazine's out. All right, so I want to show you the target. Not that I was shooting for any sort of great accuracy there. Um, I do notice though, the 36 grain hollow points, I don't know if you can see that very well there, it's pretty green. Um, I noticed that it, it's actually more accurate than the 40 grain, as far as I can tell, and I shoot a lot of pistol. Um, and again, I wasn't trying to make a real good group, but the general group here is right in here, which is interesting because with the 40 grain, uh, round nose that that run better I think that this pistol shoots pretty regularly it shoots low quite a bit low so I actually I've gotten to the point where I aim pretty high just to hit what I'm aiming at so that's one thing the sights on on this GSG here they're not super adjustable so there's uh I haven't messed with them yet left and right because the the windage is pretty good but there is a screw there for windage but as far as that front sight goes it is pretty fixed in place so overall i think that uh not that this is uh necessarily a review for the firearm itself but i think that this, this firearm was a pretty good little uh pistol to pick up for what i paid for it uh, i didn't really plan on making a video but it's something I noticed that seems to make a lot of difference with this handgun. So I just got lucky with my first 500 round box of 22 and it seems to run those pretty good. So if you get a GSG Firefly and you're having issues with it, try the 22 Thunderbolt rounds. They work pretty good. So have a good day.